Oh, absolutely. I'm really shocked every day to where this is going and every, every day it's something new. <laughs> Shalom, thank you so much for coming into the studio. Thank you for having me. We're going to talk about your company, Naturally Tribal Skin Care. And the reason we wanted to get you on the studio today was because you came up with your company um, out of research and stumbled across something that uh, you thought would make a good business. Totally. Mo most of our guests come on because they've either in the same situation as you, they, they started something and others reached out going, where can I get some of this? And they said, there's a business plan here. So tell us a little bit more about what you do and how you came up with the idea. So I am a pharmacist by qualification. Um, I um, have worked in the drug development industry for about 23 years and actually left my full-time job September last year. Congratulations. So was, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, Naturally Travel Skin Care started out of personal experience. I had my twins uh, about five years ago. Okay. Unfortunately, my son Joshua was born with severe eczema where he would scratch till he bled. Yeah. And putting steroids on him worked, but it wasn't a sustainable um, solution to the problem. Okay. So I got a bit obsessed, to be honest, trying to find a solution and uh, rang back home, my parents are Nigerian, and I got sent uh, raw shea butter, which we use on us as children. Right, I okay. remember that, it smelled disgusting, but it worked. Why, why does it smell so bad? Um, I think it was just the rawness of it. It's, okay. it's, it's love or hate. Some people love that really raw, oaky scent. I didn't personally okay. as a child. At least you know it's all natural. It's, exactly, yeah. it's all natural. Um, and I had some sent over to me um, from Nigeria, and the mixing in my kitchen started. And so the kitchen stank, I'd take it to it. Their kitchen, it was, I think I drove my entire family absolutely <laughs> crazy. Um, and complete fluke, to be honest. Mm. Uh, stumbled across the right formulation that worked for Joshua. Three days after application, his skin cleared and became what it should have been from birth. Are you, when you say you came across the right formula, is that it, you were mixing things with it, was I it? was mixing, so essential oils and shea butter, looking right. at things that um, had anti-inflammatory properties and different properties that would help his you know, reduce the itching yeah. and, you know, reduce the inflammation and things like this. And then Eureka formula, and there it was. And that's how Naturally Travel Skin Care started. So, so how, what kind of reaction did he have to the, to, to the shea butter? So it was just like applying it every day like you would your normal moisturiser in the morning yeah. after having a wash or whatever. And I noticed it started to calm the redness and the itching slowed down and finally stopped. And his skin cleared. It was just incredible. Um, and day three was that magic day. So where did the whole business idea come from? Because obviously someone reached out to you and said, this has worked for your son, where can I get some of this? And you went, oh, I made it. Absolutely. So I started to test on family and friends and okay. people who had skincare conditions and it seemed to work. And that's why I decided to bottle it and sell right. it really and make a business out of it. Um, and of course, anyone who starts up a business knows wh where do you start from? I've never worked in skincare, in the cosmetic industry, or yeah. anywhere like that. So the emails started. I must have sent over a thousand emails to people. You know, can you help me kind of formalize it, formulate it, produce it? And of course, people tell you to go away. But we did stumble across. I got two replies from okay. people who were willing to take a chance on us. Um, but before, I, I guess before that. When you, say, when you say take a chance on you, what were you asking them? Basically, can you formulate this, take my formulation yeah. and package it really? Manufacture it. And in manufacture the yeah, okay. it, absolutely. What, was this all in the UK? All in the UK, okay. that's right. Um, and people said to me, oh, we won't do anything less than 5,000 units. I just wanted a small batch to try out to see if it was going to work and yeah. sell, anything yeah, of course, like yeah. that. Rather than putting your whole life savings into it. Absolutely, mm. absolutely. Um, but actually, rewinding before that, um, when I ran out of the shea butter that was sent to me, I purchased some online when mm. it said raw shea It didn't work. Okay. So I knew that the efficacy kind of lay in getting the raw from the source, the raw ingredient from the source. Yeah. So I traveled back um, to Nigeria to a place called Essan, which is an amazing, in the middle of nowhere. It took me five hours by road to get to Essan from Abuja. Um, and came across these amazing women who'd been producing shea butter for generations. Yeah. And that's what they did. And, and that's how my relationship with the kingdom, king, king, kingdom of Essan really started. Um, today, Mark, we're building a factory in Essan. We'll be employing 50 rural women. 50? 50, 50. Wow. To work and get salaried and incentivized. Purely um, on your company? Purely on our company. Wow, okay. I call it trade, not aid. I hate the word aid and Africa in the same sentence. People yes. want to work. So um, we're building a factory there at the moment to employ these women. 
importing Excellent. the shea butter into the UK wow. so that we can formulate, manufacture, package here to EU standards. Well, it, it sounds then that things have obviously gone completely in the right direction. Oh, absolutely. I'm really shocked every day to where this is going and every, every day it's something new. Um, I made a few decisions earlier on with this company is to try and do things right and take my time doing it. Uh, simple things that I used to take for granted, yeah. using glass jars instead of plastic bottles. Yes, of course. Yeah. Um, that's a huge one for mm -hmm. me. Having ingredients that are ethically sourced. I want people to pick up a jar of our products and be able to trace the ingredients back to the source. So nice. that traceability is there so people know what they're getting. And when they purchase a jar as well, they're supporting the rural women of Essen and keeping them in jogs. So that end-to-end -end supply chain was very, very important to me. So, so where was the, the breaking point that like it really just took off? Because like going from your, your kitchen mm -hmm. to now being able to employ 50 people is, is unbelievable. So where did, it, where did it really kind of start taking off for you? And how, like how were you getting it out there? How were you like marketing? Oh, it was really, um, when I looked at the industry, when mm. you have a product that works, you can have the best product out there. Yeah. But if you don't market it properly, if it's not in the hands of huge influencers yeah. or celebrities or whatever it is, it's going nowhere. Um, and when I realized that it works for people, so I was giving away, getting people to try it, and they were getting great results. So it was using people to sell the products, people who were getting these amazing results. Please send me your befores and afters, your images. A lot of word of mouth and all that, yeah. A lot of word of mouth. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm making it sound a bit easy, but it was... It's oh, been, no, I can imagine. It's been yeah. hardcore grafting and, you know, people, skin disease is a huge disability worldwide. Yeah. One in five children in the UK suffer from eczema or some of skin disease. So yeah. it costs the NHS a lot of money and people, you have some people who don't wear short sleeves because they're too because embarrassed. Yeah. Absolutely. So it was really about tapping into mum's networks, people that I knew, who's suffering from any skin disease, give it away, send me your before and afters. Um, and day three, again, seems to be that magic day. And when I it just kind of starts to clear up exactly a bit. Exactly yeah. that. And I got, um, the social media is very powerful, as we yeah. all know. I'm putting it out there and people started to notice, like, what is this thing? Especially for, for images, if someone goes up before and after picture. Day yeah. one, Results. click, day two, on your phone, just day two, day three, yeah. uh, mothers with their kids, um, and receiving emails from people like saying to you, I've been suffering for this for the past 46 years, since I was four years old or something. Yeah. Um, and using your product has really changed my life. So that word of mouth is really, really powerful. What, what social media platforms work for you? Is it Instagram or Instagram, is it, yeah. Facebook works. Worked. Okay. Um, and are, and they, are they all generating and leading to sales or is it just leading to brand awareness? Uh, it started with brand awareness yeah. and it's now starting to trickle into sales. I think our biggest breakthrough was getting um, uh, a group called the TJC Shopping Channel, their shopping oh, channel. Okay. So yeah. I'm, on, I'm on there twice a month on air. If you get onto some of those channels, it's pretty much Absolutely. It's a big deal, isn't it? It's, it is yeah. a big deal because you're talking to an audience, you're talking to people and yeah. You know, the first month, great, wonderful. You can sell two to 300 products in an hour. Yeah. Um, and then after a couple of months, people start to use your products. And when you're on air, they're sending you their feedback. They're sending you their yeah. before and afters. And it's that the snowball effect just starts. Um, and I think it's the messaging that we have as well. Whatever people are looking for, you're looking for something that works, great yeah. you're looking for something that makes a difference and empowers women in africa great yeah. great you're looking for something that's plastic free glass great yeah. ethical sourcing great Takes sustainability great mm. vegan great cruelty free great so we tick so many boxes and yeah. we're different things to different people Brilliant. So are all your sales online or are they in retail as well? So we are um, selling online mm. primarily uh, through our e-commerce platform, through our website. We're also on Amazon. We had our first stockist in Newbury, uh, a, healthcare, a health store retail in Newbury, Nature's Corner, who were the first people to take a chance on us. Yeah. And they went further than that. They actually took a trip with us back to Africa. Oh, nice. To meet these women. They wanted to get the full circle, the whole story, and see for themselves, which they did in November last year. Yeah. Um, and with the help of the Department of International Trade as well, and our local Chamber of Commerce, we started to get sort of a bit of funding to go to exhibitions. I was going to ask you, did yeah, you get funding? Yeah, exhibitions and shows and things like that to raise awareness. We launched back in Africa because 
um, we're taking African ingredients, yeah. bringing them to the UK, reformulating, manufacturing, etc. I didn't realize there was also a market for the finished product back there. Okay, all right, yeah, right. So the, the Department of International Trade helped us to do that, and we launched at the British High Commission um, March this year, and got our big stockist there as well in Nigeria, which is fantastic. Because so I was going to ask you, does it does it stop with the UK? I'm sure you've oh, got plans not. for further afield. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely mm. not. We have um, an online store in the States who have just taken us on as well. Um, we Once have you crack America, it's kind of a big deal as well. America is yeah. a big one. It's a mm. tough one. We're taking our time. We're trying to grow organically, but I think yeah. we're going a bit faster than we thought we would, which is fantastic. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so it's it's been hardcore grafting, but it's been certainly worth it because we think I think when you find in startup when you find a solution for something and you have passion for it, something yeah. you believe in, people feed off you. But again, yeah. if it works. It's even easier. It's even easier. Yeah. So just before we end, where can people find out more about your company? Online, through our website, naturallytribalgroup.com. And we are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. You name, name it. it. We're there. Shalom, thank you so much for coming into us today. Thank you so much for having me, Mark. It's been great. Thank you. Thank you.